What's up everyone? This is a coffee cup without a lid. So there's also another video we did uh, a few days ago with a coffee cup with a lid. And so I wanted to see the difference between the two. And first up, we have the streamlines. And already, if you look, if you compare that video to this video, you see that these streamlines are actually more well behaved for some reason. I, I, I sort of expected the opposite because the coffee cup with a lid is kind of a closed shape, whereas it has obviously the opening at the top. But these streamlines are quite more um, well behaved in that they're not as chaotic. And we can come around and we see that really the only thing that um, happens is you have this major roll up. So obviously there's some sort of low pressure there that's bringing all this fluid in and it's rolling up around. And interestingly, the streamlines over the top. So this top is open, but there's no streamlines going in as you might expect perhaps. And we also have the surface pressure in red and blue. So you have the high pressure at the front as you'd expect and low pressure on the sides as the flow accelerates. So I wanted to see what the flow inside the cup was do doing to the air. So I've put streamlines in here, quite a lot of them, and I wanted to see where they where this air goes. And we can rotate around and you can see that it doesn't really come out of the cup at all. It just keeps circulating up and down. So what I think is happening is you have the flow going over the top of the cup and this is creating some sort of low pressure which then dredges up the fluid from maybe the, you know, from the bottom of the cup and then it just comes up and circulates around and keeps going like that. But none actually comes out. And this is the wide plane going through the coffee cup and it shows the U magnitude and the coloring going from zero to 29 meters per second. And as we go through the coffee cup, we get a similar sort of um, pattern as with the coffee cup with the lid, except it's maybe a little bit uh, smaller in the wake here, it seems perhaps. But interestingly, there's a bit of, I think a bit of a vortex happening just around the top lip here. But inside you can see this blue region. So it shows that the velocity inside the cup is very little. So there's not really much flow being entrained or being sucked out as you may expect. All right, so make sure to check out all the, all the instruments that we make here at Periodynamics, check out the courses we put on to make you a better analysis, and check out the International Aerodynamics Conference we put on every year for aerodynamics to get together and talk about what we love, aerodynamics. Peace out.